giveaway time stay tuned to see what we got okay so you might be asking yourself how can i win a prize or a pop doll in this case we have pop dolls and some other mystery gifts stay tuned to the end of the video where i'll be letting you know what you need to do in order to win this great prize so stay tuned share this with your friends the more people that participate the more prizes we'll give away and enjoy finding out about your city all right Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Amanda at Local Love. We are back again. We thought we'd do something a little fun, a little extra. We're gonna be doing a giveaway and some Orlando Central Florida trivia. So, show your local love. Let's see if you get them right. What are we giving away? Hmm. Well, we have multiple prizes, but the one that's gonna interest you the most is we do have some pop dolls. We have at least one pop doll. We might add another one in there for good measure. We'll see. And uh, yeah, it depends on the response we get from this video. So share with your friends, share with everybody. Uh, it is going to be limited to being here in the US. Let's get on with it and have some trivia fun. Let's see what you really know about your city. All right, so let's start off with number one. All right, so we know that Lake Rose in Winter Park, famously known as the Winter Park Sinkhole previously, what other famous Orlando lake got its start as a sinkhole? Number two. What was the name of our city before it was Orlando? Hasn't always been Orlando, guys. It had a name prior to that. What was the name of our city? All right, guys, number three. On October 24th, 1991, our old city hall downtown was blown up for a movie. Uh, it was filmed here in Orlando, obviously. What was the name of that famous movie? Number four, what is the actual name of our Lake Eola Fountain? It has an actual name beyond just calling it our Lake Eola Fountain. So what is that name? Alrighty guys, number five, what was the name of the very first theme park in Central Florida? It opened its doors in 1949 and still welcomes visitors here today. What was the name of our very first theme park here in Central Florida? Number six. What Rollins alumni uh, went on to entertain millions of children with his whimsical singing and fun loving TV show? Number seven. Once home to what was touted as the world's first water park that opened in Orlando in 1977. Uh, it's no longer with us. It's gone, unfortunately. But what was the name of this famous spot in our history? Number eight. We have here in Orlando one of the largest collections of Tiffany glass on the planet. Pretty wild when you think about it. And, uh, what is the name of the museum that houses this beautiful collection? Number nine. What famous businessman, he actually has a neighborhood here in this area named after him, got his start in the citrus industry? Number 10, this is our final question, guys. Good luck, this one's a fun one. Richard Nixon gave a very memorable speech right here in Central Florida. Uh, this was back on November 17th, 1973. What was the famous resort that he delivered that speech at? Bonus points if you know which speech I'm talking about. Little brownie points there. Alrighty guys, that's going to end our trivia. Let's stay tuned to see how many of these you got right.
Alrighty guys, so I'm glad you got all your questions. We are eager to see how many of you got them right by a show of numbers. We had 10 questions. So when you comment down below, make sure that you include how many of these you knew right off the top of your head. No cheating guys, no internet cheating. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna go through now and give you the answers to these great questions. And we hope you're enjoying the video so far. Answer number one. The answer is Lake Eola downtown. It was known to be 80 foot deep when it was a sinkhole. What about that? Answer number two. Jernigan was the name of our city before it was Orlando. It was named after one of the first settlers here in this area. Answer number three. The movie is Lethal Weapon 3, which starred Danny Glover and Mel Gibson and was directed by Joel Silver. The current city government at the time had just spent $36 million on a new city hall and they wanted to offset the costs on the demolition of the old building. They were happy to use that in this famous buddy cop movie franchise. In fact, the impact was so hard it was said to actually break some of the windows in a neighboring building. Answer number four. Linton E. Allen Memorial Fountain is what we call our Lake Eola Fountain. It is also the official symbol of the city of Orlando, and you can see it glow in every night downtown. Answer number five. Our very first theme park here was Gatorland. Despite a very devastating fire in November 6, 2006 in their gift shop and walkways, this park welcomes many visitors with open mouth every day and is known as the alligator capital of the world. I bet many of you already guessed this one right. Answer six. Mr. Rogers. It's said that Mr. Rogers wrote Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood as his senior thesis at Rollins. And it very well could be about Winter Park. And you can see where this late children's star's lakefront home uh, is on a Winter Park scenic boat tour. Answer 7. The answer is Wet and Wild. This was the world's first water park and uh, since then Universal Studios did purchase that area and it was demolished and of course it now houses new hotels for their resort. Uh, in its time it did have some wonderful slides, flumes, the kamikaze slide most notably and uh, it brought happiness to many people throughout its time in Orlando. Answer 8. The Charles Hosmer Morse Museum of American Art is well worth your visit for this beautiful Tiffany collection and other great American art on display. Answer 9. Dr. Philip Phillips used to have 5,000 acres of citrus and revolutionizing the way we process orange juice, he sold his company to Minute Maid in 1954 for 50 million dollars. That is quite a pretty penny. Answer 10. Disney's Contemporary Resort is the location where Nixon declared, I am not a crook during this very famous speech. This popular spot is also said to be where John Lennon signed papers to officially end the Beatles as a band as well. So lots of real history going on here at the Contemporary. All right, guys, welcome to the very end of the video. Thank you guys, I hope you got a lot of them right. It's a lot of fun, right? To learn a little bit about our Orlando history. So now, here's what you need to do to enter our giveaway. Woo, giveaway. All right, so here's what you need to do. It's pretty simple. You wanna like this video. Yeah, hopefully you already did. Hit that thumbs up. Let us know you like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Either way, the last thing you need to do in order to be entered into this contest is to go ahead and make a comment down below on this video letting us know how many you got right. Now, if you didn't do the first two, commenting down below will just be for fun. You won't be entered in. What can you win? You can win a pop doll. If you guys like those vinyl figures, there's a lot of really cute ones. And we have several left over from our unboxing giveaway that we did quite a long while back. 
and we thought it was high time we did another giveaway. So depending on how many of you actually are watching this video and paying attention and how much of a response, we'll either give away one pop doll or two and a variety of other mystery gifts that I think you guys will really enjoy. We have a few things in our little prize bin and we love to give you guys prizes. So now's the time to go ahead and like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment down below. Let us know how many you got right and go ahead and tell us what you think about what we're doing here in Local Love. We love to hear from you guys. We're going to be doing our drawing and we will be back to let you guys know who won and make that announcement right on our Facebook page. For those of you that aren't familiar with our Facebook page, please go to Local Love Orlando Entertainment and uh, we will be making our announcement there as well as in the comments of this video. And uh, if you're a winner, we're going to need your address, your name, and we want the name that you're using here on YouTube as well. That way we can tout you out, people can subscribe or follow anything that you might be doing. So other than that, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that if you like this video that you'll let us know. And of course, uh, we'll be including other ways you can reach out to us if you have something you want to do. Maybe you're an artist or you do something in our community. Um, you know, you're a comedian or anything that you do, musicians, and you want to tell your story here in Local Love, you let us know. And we'll be including how you can reach us at the end of this video right before we leave you. So thank you guys for watching today. It's been a pleasure. Have a lovely, wonderful day. Looks like we're hopefully getting to the end of this COVID situation. I mean, obviously things will be different. We still have a long way to go. But thank you guys for letting me entertain you while we've all been stuck at home. Comment down below. Let us know what you think about this. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, we'd certainly love to bring you things like this, of course. So certainly let us know how you think we're doing. Uh, make sure you stick around. Check out some of our other videos. we got lots to choose from. And let us know if there's something else that you want to share with us or that you'd like to be a part of one of our segments. I hope that you have enjoyed it as much as I have. Thank you for tuning in to Local Love. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And hit that bell so you know when we have a new video. Thank <laughs> you.